Hey everybody, welcome back to the screencast. It's Massey Cheneau, a Tuesday edition, and we are on the very last lesson of an algebra unit that we have been putting together, and we're going to take everything we learned in algebra so far and put it together to solve these two inequality problems today. Let's take a look at our inequality. First of all, it says x, our variable, plus 7 will be greater than or equal to 10. I'm looking to figure out what x might be. This is going to feel like a refresher to our last unit. I have to isolate the variable, and the way that I do that is I subtract 7 from both sides. And I'm subtracting 7 because the variable x is on this side. I'm getting rid of the 7 to isolate or single out our variable x. This symbol, the greater than or equal to symbol, that comes straight down. And then I, all I have to do is 10 minus 7, which is 3. Of course, I drew a perfect 3. Let's fix it a little bit. Oh, perfect. OK, let's graph this. Well. All right, I know I have to start at 3, but do I put a circle or a dot remembering this? Less than, greater than, those are going to be circles. Less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, they're going to be dots. The reason we're going to use dots is because we include the number we're graphing. Okay, so let's go back to where we are, which is right here. All the numbers that are greater than or equal to 3. So I'm going to put a dot. Dot because of the equal sign, which is right here. And all the numbers that are greater than that will make that make sense, including 3. Let's see if it makes sense. 3 plus 7 is greater than or equal to 10. Yeah, 7 plus 3 is 10. It makes perfect sense. Let's go to a subtraction problem. Here's our inequality. It's x minus 3 is less than 9. Okay. I need to isolate the variable. I see this negative 3 here. What is the opposite of subtracting 3? The opposite is adding 3 which will cancel these two things out, isolating our variable x all by itself. I'm going to bring our less than symbol down here. And, uh, well, we're going to add 3 to this side because over here we added 3. So to balance it out, algebra is all about balance. We're going to add 3 there. So that would be 9 plus 3 is 12. I know I need to start graphing at 12, but do I put a circle or a dot? Think about that for one minute. Absolutely right. We're going to put a circle there because we're going to start our count at 12, but we're not going to include 12. Also, all the numbers that are smaller than 12 are what we're going to graph. And if you forget that part, look at this clue. Which way is this arrow pointing now? Yes, that symbol shows us all the numbers less than. That's what we did today. We solved one-step inequalities, and we graphed them. We'll be going this over again this tomorrow. Those of you that are in the screencast that are getting ready for our test, our test is on Friday. We'll have a review for on Wednesday and Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Hey, like, subscribe, and hey, email me, comment. Let me know how this is going. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's the maths you should know.